is Samantha Hidalgo. I'm the Public Health Program Manager at the Buffalo Center for Health Equity. We are out here today at our annual Community Day as a pre-igniting hope event to let the community know that we're out here doing the work and to get everyone excited for Igniting Hope. This is our sixth year doing it. Our focuses are on mental health, oral health, and food access. The second part of our day is dedicated to coming up with solutions to the issues that are plaguing our community. Uh, we feed you breakfast and lunch. We really cannot wait to see everybody. We are super excited for this, our sixth year here in Buffalo at the medical school campus. So I was asked why is it important for us to be out here with the community. I'm part of the neighborhood engagement team, something that was started for things like this to be in the community, to be a part of. Also, that's something that I wanted to do when I took this job, I signed up for it. I grew up across the street from a police officer and with them, the interaction, playing, them stopping, playing football and stuff with us, I also love to bring that back. So I'm happy that we are able to do multiple community events, not just this one, but it is very good to be a part of this. I'm happy, it's a nice vibe, so. I am Glendora Johnson Cooper. I am a REACH Community Vaccine Champion, and this event today is part of Igniting Hope. But today is the Community Day, so it's an opportunity to reach out to the community, to share health information, vital information that has an impact upon their wellness, their health, uh, their prosperity. So what we're doing today is sharing information, providing opportunities for people to take better care of themselves and to kind of gather together and celebrate in all the work we're, that we're doing to improve the health of the East Side. So events like this are important because they are events which educate, which bring people together and help us be a stronger buckle. My name is Dr. K. Um, I sit on the board for Home Beneath Our Feet. Um, I also sit on the board for Health Sciences Charter School. And it's just a beautiful thing, man, uh, for, for the leadership team from both our, uh, both our uh, Home Beneath Our Feet and also uh, from Health Sciences to come together, uh, provide this environment for people in the community to just, you know what I'm saying, come together, fellowship, have a good time, you know what I'm saying, and, and do positive things to motivate our, our young kings and queens. Um, Rashawn Smalls from CAI, Tobacco Free of Area, Niagara Counties. And we out here just to be a part of that, right? This is what Buffalo needs to be talking about. Right. Healthy right. spaces, safe spaces, where you see this sort of collaboration, this energy mm -hmm. of community uh, coming together and just saying, hey, we want to create spaces where people can come out and feel safe. Right. And feel and good. We want to be a part of that. Right. We put this, this garden together earlier um, this year, early, uh, uh, I believe it was back in May of 2023. Um, and uh, ever since, uh, you know, we, we've uh, uh, put this garden together, man, it's, it's been doing some wonderful things in this community, uh, you know, bringing people together, um, a safe place for somebody, you know, people to just come and sit, relax, read some books, you know, yes, yes, um, yes, and, yes. And, and just, well, as I said earlier, just fellowship. You and know I what haven't saying? seen you in what, maybe about uh, it's, pandemic people. Yeah, pandemic. it's got to be a, at least so four you years, man. Bringing people together. Right. Typically, we come together for funerals and, you know, but here we are having mm -hmm. an opportunity to celebrate. No doubt. And no just doubt. to reconnect with people that we haven't seen. So, no doubt. If, if for nothing else, this is one of those spaces of bringing people together and creating those healthy conversations and, and, and just, relationships. And just to add to that, if you if you if the camera just panned over there, uh -huh. um, you see our, our, our young kids, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, our, our young kids, you know, having fun doing some different activities and at the end of the day that's all it's all about man you know what I'm saying being able to provide this type of environment for them uh, for them to, to be able to get together have fun um, and, if, and essentially if you think about it they're networking right you got yes. kids from all yeah. different uh, um, you know that diversities quality socialization yeah yeah, too, you know? yeah you know and coming together and yep. just you know but just, it don't happen if you don't have the environmental change and we believe you can educate, right? Which is our job is to educate. Mm -hmm. But we have to start creating a different environment that space, so that yeah. we can create the sort of normative right. behavior where it's, it's beautiful when you see kids sit down and play together, right? right? right and right. feel safe. And then you got a ton of adults out here as well yeah. having that same sort of, right. you know, um, dynamic sort of interaction. And so this is what we are about, you know, mm -hmm. um, trying to promote that. And you think about it, it's, it's Saturday night, well, Saturday evening. We could evening, be anywhere else, be any, right? Yeah, but we right here, man. Yes, and, yes, and I'm and, happy, And man. it's a good vibe, so, 
Make sure y'all support Home Beneath Our Feet. Make sure y'all support Tobacco Free of Area Niagara County. You know what I'm saying? CAI Project of CAI. You also got Reach, Reach Buffalo out here mm -hmm. as well. So you got some some organizations out here. The Center for um, Black Health Equity. Okay. Um, you got some you got some community out here, man. The same group of people that's been consistently pushing health equity right. and, and, and community health and wellness, and that's what you see out here. So. No doubt. It's a beautiful thing, but uh, I appreciate y'all once mm -hmm. again for coming out here, man. Definitely, Good to see you as always. Always a pleasure, man. No doubt.